Welcome back to the 30 Rack channel. We have another beer review. This one is from Seven Seas Brewing. This is the Imperial Hazy IPA. It says it is tropical, pillowy, and majestic. Clocks in at 8.0% alcohol by volume. This is a 12 ounce can. This is from uh, Tacoma, Washington, so about 45 minutes or so down south from uh, Seattle. Let's get into uh, the uh, taste test here. Oh, very lovely. It smells tropical. Cool. Let's see how she pours. Oh, look at all the sediment in this. There is a lot of sediment. So, as you can see, we have a very thick body, very thick head. Tons of sediment all through here. That's, that's how you know it's going to be juicy as shit. At least that's how I, I, I see it. A lot of orange notes off the nose. Tropical, a little bit of like the mango-y flavor uh, smells. All right, I think it's ready for a uh, taste test. So if you got one, cheers. That tastes literally like orange juice with 8% of alcohol. Like this is the definition of a bromosa, where you would like put orange juice and beer. They did that for you right here. You don't even have to do it. They just, just buy this, buy this can or the six pack and just, you don't even need it. <laughs> This is a Bromosa. My God. That is, this is the perfect Sunday drink. Absolute perfect Sunday brunch drink. I know I said that uh, the other day, or like other review about, I think it was the Blood Orange. Yeah, super good beer, but this one just, it hits a little bit differently. That is just so refreshing. Good job, Seven Seas. This is a, this one, you knocked it out of the park on, oh, knock shit over. You knocked it out of the park on this one. I will say though, at 8%, you probably don't wanna chug it. <laughs> and uh, you definitely, probably only want like three of them throughout the whole day. It is definitely a beer you're not going to want to drink realistically throughout the whole day because it's just a lot of lot of thickness to it. You you feel a little bit bloated, but it's in a good way. Like you're getting a good hearty beer here, something that's got a lot of flavor, a lot of oomph to it. Good stuff, and that sediment is just crazy. So if you uh, don't like seeing your sediment in your beer. Don't pour it in a glass. That's all I can say. It's gonna be there. It, it's it's a byproduct of how it's created. So it's gonna be there. It, it, it adds to the beer. But if you don't like seeing it, don't pour it in a glass. And if you think you have never had a beer that has that much sediment in it, this much, I bet, unless you, unless you are super, Light beard person, I bet you've had something with some sediment in it and you just didn't know. The head's staying strong too. Look at that, yeah, very nice, very nice. 
I don't have much more to say on this beer. Honestly, it, this one is just amazing. My review for this beer, or review rating for this beer, if you couldn't tell, an absolute five out of five. It is so damn good. And I just can't wait till Sunday to where I can get another one of these bad boys. And after like a nice long weekend, you know, uh, you, just, you just go to Sunday brunch and you get the Bromosa, which is this, the Imperial Hazy Brum Seven Seas. That's just what it is. Five out of five. There you go. If you enjoyed, make sure to like the video, comment, tell me what your favorite part was. Have you had this beer before? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think my opinion is just? Uh, check out 30rackinc.com. We have some merch there. You could check out some of the old podcasts. Subscribe if I haven't said that. And yeah, that's everything, guys. Have a good weekend and cheers.